Physical fitness and beauty can be entirely consuming at times, where its grasp causes people to go to incredible lengths to reach what they view as perfection. Proving just that is a former female bodybuilder who, after 20 years of injecting herself with steroids, resembles nothing of her former self on account of the drug's effects. Today, we look into the case of Denise Rutkowski, an impressive woman. Back in 1993, Denise Rutkowski won second place in the Mrs. Olympia competition, where she stood a good chance of taking the title the following year. This never came to be, as in 1994, she retired in order to return to Texas to attend Cavalry Cathedral International Bible College, completely shocking the sport. At that time, she looked like this. By 1996, the former bodybuilder was going across the nation spreading the word of God to anyone that would listen. She eventually came back around to bodybuilding in 2001, where she began to resemble the body she once had. In 2012, however, she was arrested for evading arrest, detained, and a mugshot taken. Needless to say, the 20 years of steroids taken by Rutkowski, along with a drug addiction and bipolar disorder, left her looking like a completely different person, and that of a different gender as well. Feast your eyes upon the effects of years of pumping chemicals into your body to artificially change it. The dangers of steroids are well documented, but what happens when a former professional bodybuilder, suspected of using the hard stuff, gets off the gear and stops training? This is exactly what. Early Life during her bodybuilding career, she arrived in San Diego, California in 1989 from Texas and lived at Mission Beach while training at Gold's Gym Pacific Beach. She lived in San Diego until 1991 when she won the Orange County Muscle Classic and California State Championships and thereafter moved to Venice, California to train at Gold's Gym Venice Beach, California and had an interest in improving the quality of life for underprivileged children in the neighborhood. She spent time traveling with youth from Venice. California to WWF shows, Disneyland, and sporting events. In 1994, she went back home to Fort Worth, Texas, and she entered Calvary Cathedral International Bible College for two years. By 1996, Denise was going around the country spreading the word of God at various religious revivals. In 2001, Denise started training again and returned to a better physical condition, which seems to have been her very peak, as things started to go severely downhill for Miss Denise from her arrest onwards. Main Uses and Potential Benefits To understand Denise's transformation from a bulky, dashing-looking bodybuilder to an almost unrecognizable shadow of her previous self can perhaps be understood by looking into what steroids are, why exactly accomplished bodybuilders such as Denise are willing to throw away all their hard work by risking to use these substances. When you think of steroids, the first thing that may come to mind is their use in bodybuilding to promote muscle gain. While this is a common application, AAS are used for several other purposes. The main potential benefits associated with anabolic steroids are the following. Increases in muscle tissue due to enhanced protein synthesis. Decreased body fat percentage. Increased muscle strength and power. Enhanced recovery from workouts and injury. Improved bone mineral density. Increased red blood cell production. These potential effects may benefit various groups of individuals. Speed and power output. Athletes looking to improve speed and power output often began taking steroids. In the world of sports, Athletes are constantly looking for ways to get an edge over the competition. While advanced strength and conditioning exercises, as well as nutrition, go a long way in this regard, some athletes take it a step further by taking performance-enhancing drugs. AAS are one of the major PEDs used by athletes. They have been shown to increase muscle mass, which leads to increased speed and power output. Athletes using AAS can experience strength gains of 5 to 20 percent and weight gains of 4 to 5 to 11 pounds, which may be due to an increase in lean body mass. In competitive sports, steroid dosing tends to be a fairly conservative to avoid detection. Muscle mass is not the main concern here as they're used more for recovery and increased power output. Though most sporting federations ban AAS, some athletes feel the risk of getting caught is worth the benefits. Muscle mass and strength When it comes to strength sports, including bodybuilding, powerlifting, and Olympic weightlifting, anabolic steroids are widely used by athletes such as Denise to increase muscle mass, strength, and power output. In these sports, muscle strength, size, and power directly relate to overall performance. While the goal of bodybuilding is maximum muscle mass in a given category, strength and muscle size are closely related, though other factors are at play as well. The dosing of AAS in strength sports tends to be more liberal as many federations don't test for these and other substances. While more potent effects may be seen at higher doses, the risk of side effects increases as well. Many users in this category also utilize a strategy called stacking which is a slang term for mixing multiple types of AAS. 
Some athletes also include other synthetic hormones, such as growth hormone and insulin. Dangerous Side of Steroid Use A variety of side effects can occur when anabolic steroids are misused, ranging from mild effects to ones that are harmful or even life-threatening. Most are reversible if the user stops taking the drugs. However, others may be permanent or semi-permanent, which seems to be the case in Denise's story. Most data on the long-term effects of anabolic steroids in humans come from case reports rather than formal epidemiological studies. Serious and life-threatening adverse effects may be underreported, especially since they may occur many years later. One review found 19 deaths in published case reports relating to anabolic steroid use between 1990 and 2012. However, many steroid users also used other drugs, making it difficult to show that the anabolic steroid use caused these deaths. The Cardiovascular System Steroid use has been associated with high blood pressure, decreased function of the heart's ventricles, and cardiovascular diseases such as heart attacks, artery damage, and strokes, even in athletes younger than 30. Steroids contribute to the development of cardiovascular disease partly by increasing the level of low-density lipoprotein and decreasing the level of high-density lipoprotein. High LDL and low HDL levels increase the risk of atherosclerosis, a condition in which fatty substances are deposited inside arteries and disrupt blood flow. If blood is prevented from reaching the heart or brain, the result can be a heart attack or stroke, respectively. The Hormonal System Steroid use disrupts the normal production of hormones in the body. Changes that can be reversed include decreased sperm production, decreased function of the testes, hypogonadism, and leads to low testosterone levels. Irreversible changes include baldness and breast development, gynecomastia, in men. Anabolic steroids may also act upon the hormone system to increase the risk of testicular cancer, especially when steroids are used in combination with insulin-like growth factor. In females, anabolic steroids cause masculinization, specifically breast size and body fat decrease, the skin becomes coarse and the voice deepens. Women may experience excessive growth of body hair but lose scalp hair. With continued administration of steroids, some of these effects become irreversible. It seems that Denise was affected by many of these factors. The Infections Many people who inject anabolic steroids may use non-sterile injection techniques or share contaminated needles with other users. This puts these steroid users at risk for acquiring life-threatening viral infections such as HIV and hepatitis B and C. In addition, animal models indicate that anabolic steroids suppress the immune system, which could worsen infections. The Liver Steroid misuse has been associated with liver damage, tumors, and a rare condition called peliosis hepatis, in which blood-filled cysts form in the liver. The cysts can rupture, causing internal bleeding and even death in rare cases. The Musculoskeletal System Rising levels of testosterone and other sex hormones normally trigger the growth spurt that occurs during puberty and adolescence. These rising levels of testosterone also provide the signals to stop growth. When a child or adolescent takes anabolic steroids, the resulting artificially high sex hormone levels can prematurely signal the bones to stop growing. Evidence also suggests that weightlifters who misuse anabolic steroids have stiffer tendons, which could lead to an increased risk for tendon injury. The Skin Steroid misuse can cause acne, hair loss on the head, cysts, and oily hair and skin. Users who inject steroids may also develop pain and abscess formation at injection sites. Anabolic steroids can also produce jaundice or yellowing of the skin or eyes as a result of damage to the liver. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.